Good morning. Today is the day. Today is shop update day. It's 8:47, and my shop update is at 9 a.m. So I have like 12 minutes now to get everything kind of like laid out on my computer so that I can launch it on time. I think I'm gonna go in on Etsy and just open it five minutes earlier because with Etsy you can't really change a lot of things while you're on vacation mode so I have to go in and change the banner and everything. This may be the last shop update where I use Etsy because they're raising their fee from like 5% to like 6% in April. Let's open the shop. Why do you glitch out on me like this? It would be really funny if I lost internet connection right now. Okay, let's go downstairs to my laptop because this is not working. Okay, well, I don't know why my desktop wasn't working, but shop is live. I'm gonna post. I wrote my little blurb for Instagram and I copied it. And now it's time to post it. people on my website that is that is pretty crazy i love this feature on shopify like you can just see where people are you can just see little dots that's crazy that is amazing all right shop is open instagram has been posted everything else looks like it's automatically posting on their own sent my newsletter for now i'm gonna just make sure that everything's running smoothly and I'm gonna take the rest of my Sunday off um, to prepare myself for the chaos. And if you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because all my housemates are still sleeping because it's Sunday morning. All right, see you Monday. Hello, it is a little bit of a late start of the day. We're gonna be packing orders today and tomorrow and the next day and pretty much the entire week. I'm heckin' excited for this. It's been a long time since I had to pack orders and I am fully embracing that I will binge probably like three or four Netflix shows, watch three weeks worth of YouTube videos that I have not been watching because I was busy planning the shop updates while I pack all my orders. I'm still watching Breaking Bad season three very, very good. Let me unpack and then we'll start packing.
one for you, 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 and you. Woo! I'm done. I was watching Breaking Bad with Vicky the whole time and it kept me very entertained while I packed orders. This is how much I did for day one. I only did sticker orders today because I just like getting it out of the way. But yeah, I'm kind of pooped. I'm gonna go home and cook and round two will be tomorrow. Good night. Day two, let's get this shit.
feel like packing in order is like finding the best way to make a sandwich and like making sure each piece is layered perfectly so that the sandwich does not fall apart. So what I'm really trying to say is, I think it's time to eat some food. Are you asking me if I ordered the murder of a child? I would never ask you that. This is day three of packing. Um, I'm pretty much done with all of the non-pre-order orders. I also tidied up a little bit, got some new Patreon envelopes, um, refilled the drawers and realized that I'm running low on those. So I have to reorder a bunch of those. And, and yeah. Look how clean it is. I've realized that if I don't clean the office after I go home, the next time when I come back, it feels really bad. So. Hello, welcome. Oh, that is a lot of, that is a lot of energy that I do not have right now. Hello. This is my last full day of order packing. I'm pretty sure I can finish the majority of the non-pre-order orders today and then everything else would just be like trickles of packages going forward. I ate risotto last night and I feel very very sluggish, I'm not gonna lie. I literally feel like a train hit me and I'm just- there's like clouds up here, I'm just very tired and it's probably due to the fact that it's mm, pretty much just cheese and rice. It's a perfect day to pack orders and not think and just let the risotto take over my body. I got some questions in the past on like how I'm able to pack orders really efficiently and quickly and I think I owe it all to um, being able to tag things onto each individual order and like search by tags if that makes sense. So on Shopify on each order I go in and I search like for example, if someone ordered a big print, that obviously means that I have to use a big flat mailer. And so I just type in the print in the search bar and every single order that includes the big flat print, I'll check mark it and then I will click on the tag button and I'll tag it big flat. And that will be my tag term for when I package all of my big flats. And it just makes it faster because I don't have to like think about each different order and like how I have to use a different size packaging for specific customers. This way I can just lay down like 10 big flat mailers, pack all the big flats at once and get that out of the way. Then I'll do padded mailers, pack all that. Then I'll do the regular flat mailers. And I also tag things as pre-order so that when the time comes, I can just search pre-order and I'll be able to pack all of those at once. And I actually am starting to go into each order again now that I'm pretty much done with the non-pre-order stuff. And I'm tagging it as like if there's a bunny pre-order or if there is a pouch pre-order so that I can just easily sort through all the orders at once when I get the bunnies and the pouches in. So yeah, that is how I pack orders very speedily. It also helps to remember to like label your packages with either the order number or like a few initials of their name. So when you're putting down labels, you know that the correct label is going on the correct package. Uh, another trick that I feel like I mentioned in the past is having everything at arm's length or just like having it spread in front of you, all your merch, all your stickers, prints, whatever, so that you can just like grab it really fast and go. I personally really like this like L table setup because you could just fit more stuff on the table. I definitely also think that organization is very important to have a efficient 
streamlined packing session um, because I have like everything sectioned off into like drawers um, I have like envelopes there, thank you cards there my brain has like muscle memory it has muscle memory of like where everything is so i don't have to think as much i just like know like thank you cards are here envelopes are here and i just grab it and then i put it down and then after i put everything down on the table i just package it all at once and yeah i hope that helps i don't know if i'm just like rambling now what, baby i'm okay okay good boy <laughs> Jesse again from both of us. Got it. So is he... How's he done? Jesse? <sighs> he's good. He's, uh... He's busy. I'm having some trouble with my thermal printer and I have no idea how to fix it. So I always use the Eco Enclosed thermal labels with the, I think, 100% recycled backing and it works fine. I've never had a problem, but this time I decided to buy the one that has like a thousand labels instead of like maybe 200 labels on it. And for some reason, it's just not working. It's like not compatible. So I don't know what to do. Does this just mean I have to stop packing orders for today? Yep, still doesn't work. I finished packing all of the orders and I'm ready to ship them all out. Thank you again, everyone, for supporting my small business. Thank you so much for everyone that bought from my store. I'm very grateful for every single order. I'm gonna ship these out and I can't wait to see when everyone starts getting their stuff. I think that's like the best part is seeing my stuff out in the wild and like on your walls, on your phones, on your water bottles, just like everywhere. It feels good to finish packing. I feel accomplished. I think the true struggle with packing will come when my pre-order items get here because these orders are just like a fraction of the pre-order items. Um, but hopefully that'll be a lot simpler. I already ordered the poly bags that they're gonna go into. Because I finished packing all the non-pre-order items, I only have to focus on those four, like two plushies, two pouches, and it should be a pretty swift process. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to lay on the floor and be surrounded by a bunch of Donnies and Honeys. I think it'll be a very fun experience. Goodbye.